So recently I picked up a Yamaha A-Series sampler off uh, Reverb, and uh, this almost didn't get to me. Uh, this was lost in the mail for about a month, and then when it finally arrived it was a bit dinged up because the guy who packaged it didn't do a good job. But um, I went ahead and tested it, and everything seems to be working okay. So the only thing I need to do now is just uh, replace the... Uh, internal drive because it is incredibly loud and I used to have a Yamaha a 4000 so I remember how loud those things were but um, just to give you an idea of how loud this thing is let me just turn this on I don't know if you can hear that but just listen to that So yeah, I'm not about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the internal drive out, swap it out with a compact flash card, and I'm also going to do a little bit of an upgrade here with this floppy drive. I'm going to swap this out with a, a floppy USB emulator. And uh, that way I can load up some samples to the flash card just using a USB stick. So... Um, yeah, the other thing that came in the mail is this enormous freaking uh, CD player. It's a little scuzzy. I don't know if you can see this in the back. And this thing also got beat up in the mail. Uh, it got crushed in there, so at least there's one left in there that works. But I'm not going to be using that, so I'm not too worried about it. This one came in pretty decent shape, though, even though it got banged up a bit. It's supposed to be in mint condition, but yeah, that's what it is. The other nice thing about this unit, it has the additional expansion board in the back, so you can uh, connect I.O. Um, via optical and digital, and you have some additional signable outs in the back. But uh, yeah, great unit. Plan on just using it to you know, chop up some brakes, maybe run some audio through it. And, uh, yeah, have a little fun. So I'm going to go ahead and stop now. And we're going to open this bad boy up and start taking things out and putting things in. All right. So uh, unit's open, and I'm going to go ahead and take out this drive. Now, for the sake of time, I went ahead and uh, unscrewed this uh, bracket off the uh, base. So this should pop right out. And I um, also have to be careful because there's quite a few uh, ribbon cables in here. This one corresponds to the SCSI in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And this is the one that's connected to the drive. And I'm also going to unhook this uh, power cable here. Take that out. So this should theoretically pop right out. And... That's what that looks like. So now, uh, let me show you what I'm going to be doing here. I have uh, this little CF card that's going to be connected to this adapter, this little power cable, and then this is the USB um, floppy emulator. And that's going to go here once I take this out. So uh, let me just show you what I'm going to be doing here. Hopefully I can see that. First thing you're going to do is just put this together. It's really simple. All you got to do is just slide that in. There we go. And once that's done, that gets placed right inside this IDE slot. It's kind of tricky to align it. There we go. And the last thing I need to do is connect the power. Once that's set up, um, all I'll have to do is just format this uh, little card and uh, we should be ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and unhook this for now because I still have to take out this floppy drive. And uh, when that's done, um, hopefully I have everything place put together so that I can go ahead and close it up 
and uh, format it. All right, be back in a bit. All right, almost there. So I went ahead and removed the old floppy drive and replaced it with the USB emulator. Uh, this old IDE drive is now being placed with the compact flash card expansion and uh, as an additional measure to reduce the amount of noise, I went ahead and unhooked the power cable from the fan since I no longer have a heat source coming in from the uh, old IDE drive. So theoretically, this thing should be very, very quiet when I turn it on. Let's go ahead and check it out. That is dead silent, and I am very, very happy. So uh, the last thing I need to do is just format this drive, get the grips with the uh, USB emulator, and um, yeah, should be making some tunes with this pretty soon, and hopefully posting some videos in the near future. Uh, thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.